Tina. Tina. I am coming. I am coming. I'm fixing the machine for ice cream. Darling, you'll never guess what our friend here was up to on Reptile Day. She was making out with a young man when suddenly the fellow turns into a reptile and tries to eat her. And then his head exploded. All the heads exploded. It's quite like what happened to us on Reptile Day. It was another lifetime. Shit! I should go. Oh, no. Please. We're just getting going. Your wife is quite a character. How did you meet? Oh, we met at a... at a vicar's tea party. It was a crowded room, but somehow she drew my eye. She really was. Appealing. So that was on Reptile Day? No, a couple of days earlier. But it was amazing how quickly our romance blossomed. By the time Reptile Day happened, we... Well, that was when we discovered that there was something between us. For years now, we have been mixing our reptilian DNA with human genetic material. 10,000 feet and climbing. We put sperm on toilet seats in ladies' lavatories and fathered tens of thousands of children. They wait for us across the world in dentists and public relations agencies, in gay bars and cement works, in playgrounds and penthouses ready for the great pulse of sexual organ energy that you will supply, transforming them all into fully reptilian beings like me. Then together, we will overrun you meager humans. Oh my god, what is happening? Tina, I love you. I also love you, Colin. Excellent. Your sexual ardor will fuel our energy burst. <sighs> it is begun! The wife doesn't like me to talk about it, but let's just say it was a hot date. Do you think it was the government? Some sort of research that went wrong, or perhaps it was the drug companies? That's what people say. It was such an epoch-making event. Ten percent of the population transforming into reptiles shortly before their heads exploded, and no one has explained it properly. What do you think of the anti-reptilian messiah theory? I don't need theories. I know. I know what happened. Who are you? You are a journalist, no? No, no, no. Who are you? Making my husband drunk and asking so many questions, eh? Madam, it was your husband. You are a reptilian. Please. I'm a musician.
Glad you could join me again. I was enjoying our little chat. China! So, Colin, now we've got your silly wife out of the way. Tell Auntie all about what happened to you on Reptile Day. For real this time. It was you who made all the reptiles explode, you naughty man, wasn't it? No, no, it was us who brought about the transformations. Mm, not entirely plausible. I mean, you're not a reptilian, not even a reptile lover. I can tell. It's true, I tell you. I confess, we were trying to stop the reptilians' evil plans, but they captured us, slapped us to machine, and... And? Tapped our sexual energy. Ouch! What did you do that for? A girl's got to find some enjoyment in her work. Oh, please, I'll tell you whatever you want. Just let my wife go. She's innocent, innocent, I tell you. She doesn't look innocent. <laughs> What are you, a pervert? Never! Call me a pervert. I am a professional woman doing her job. <coughs> so, you'd like to have sex with me? We are having sex, you fool. You don't know a good thing when it comes along. Stop! Whining! I want to know what happened. How did the reptilian takeover go wrong? What did you do? Tell Auntie. You know you want to. should not be happening! Stop! You must stop! Oh, Tina, I want you to know, I don't regret a moment. To admit you as its own reward! Oh, oh, you are my dreams, mate. You somehow don't mind dying. Do oh. not worry. I have a trick in my sleeve. Stand back. What? You know, I have been genetically modified, darling. But you do not know how much. I only hope you can accept me the way I really am. You are most acceptable. <sighs> Grab me! <laughs> Thank you.
querido. Háblame. Háblame. You save me. Every time.